Zelvia Honey and welcome back to a new video. Today I have a package to open from Japan containing some Japanese LPS and also some LPS that have been on my wish list for what feels like years. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys the box. It came in and get straight into opening it up. Everything in this video I bought using the proxy service Bai and um yeah, I just hope you enjoy it. It's not going to be a super long video, but I still hope it's enjoyable nonetheless because I'm always excited to share my new LPS with you guys. So let's begin. So here's the three packages that contain LPS. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm confident which one's in which. These two are new in package LPS and this box down the bottom has some loose pets that I bought just as like a little bundle. I was so bummed out because I hadn't actually been checking for Japanese LPS in a while and I saw a listing for a Dachshund new in its box and I was watching it and then I actually forgot when the auction ended and somebody else ended up winning it. So I hope that person really enjoys their LPS of course, but I was so upset that I missed the opportunity to get a Dachshund in Japanese packaging. I would have absolutely loved that, but this is hopefully going to be just as good. And I'm actually really excited about the loose LPS down here because there is a dream pet in there for me. I'm gonna start with this one here. Both of the new and packaged pets are from the same seller. I was kind of worried that it was just in a bag but it looks like there's some cardboard reinforcing in here which hopefully has stopped it from getting dented. This is actually packaged pretty well. Um, it's in bubble wrap and does have some cardboard to protect the front at least. So it should be okay, hopefully. And as you can see, I mean you've already seen in the thumbnail of this video, but it's another pet nook. Here it is, and while I love it, it is unfortunate that the LBS has become loose as well as the accessory. That's just because it's old, um, the elastic has worn away, and because of that the pet is just flying around in there. Um, but the box itself actually seems to be in really amazing condition. I don't know if it's because it's sealed in this plastic, so maybe the outside world hasn't really gotten to it, but there's like no discoloration on this thing. I'll show it to you guys in more detail in just a second when I open the other one, but I might leave it in the plastic for now. I, I just think it's keeping it nice and I don't know, hopefully I can like kind of shake the turtle back into its original spot maybe and make it a bit more like aesthetically pleasing. But hopefully the second pet won't be loose inside. I'm really hoping because this one I've been looking more forward to than the turtle. Oh, okay. Moment of truth. Is the pet still in its... Oh, it is. Okay. Monkey is still in position. Here's the second set and while the accessories, the bananas have flown out, the monkey is still in position, which is what I care about. Like the accessories don't bother me at all because you literally can't even see them, whether they're there or not. Like you don't even notice, but the monkey's still in position. Ah, like to a non new in box collector that probably seems like such a ridiculous thing to get excited about but I just love how it looks when it's all like in its place. So here are our two Japanese pet nooks. I've talked about Japanese pet nooks in the past and actually got another one of these turtles but the box wasn't in as good a condition which is why I'm so upset that the turtle moved again because like I feel like that box that I got before was in bad condition but the pet was perfect. Now this one the pet's like in the wrong position but the box is perfect it's like go oh. and of course this is my first monkey one like i said i i did talk about pet nooks before i've done a whole video about them so if you'd like to check it out there'll be a link somewhere on the screen or in the description where you guys can go check it out um so i won't go into too much detail on them but i'll give you guys a little bit of information about it and then we'll move on to the loose pets so as far as i know japan was the only country to have different colored lps packaging to the rest of the world they have this bright pink pack pastel colored packaging with light blue. It is adorable. It is so cute. I love how it looks. I am obsessed with Japanese packaging for LPS. Um, and besides that, like the pets are the same, the pet nooks are the same. Everything about the actual product is the same. It's just the packaging that's unique. 
I'm not sure if you can see, but down the bottom there is also a pamphlet included. And once again, I've gone through a Japanese pamphlet with you guys. So if you're interested in that, please go check out the other video. On the back, they have these really cute little diorama displays showing you how the pet nooks work, the other sets you could get, and also talking about the magnets that are in the feet, as well as just some information about the pets all around. Japanese packaging is some of my favorite. And from what I know, they only did this different pastel packaging for G2 LPS. They've done pet nooks, they've done single packs, double packs, and also larger houses as well. But once they got past generation two with the magnets, they just started doing regular blue packaging like every other country. So I feel like this was a very special kind of era for LPS in Japan at least. It was just unique and it gave them something to kind of stick out and show that it was different、uh, in Japan. Like I said, the pets themselves are one. 100% the same as every other country. It's just the packaging. So, if you're somebody that's not interested in packaging, this is just a regular LPS for you. But if you're like me and enjoy getting LPS new in their box and learning about different LPS in different countries, this is like a holy grail kind of find.、Um, I know that there's country exclusives, and as far as I know, this is the only kind of country exclusive packaging they ever did. So, I find it really cool. I hope some of you guys do find it cool as well. Well, and yeah, that's just a bit of information about the packaging. So now it's time to move on to the loose littlest pet shops that come in this box. Like I said, there is a big wish list pet in this pack for me, so I'm really hoping that they're in good condition. So, without further ado, let's open it up.、I、finally, get my little grubby hands on them. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, okay, breathe, Maddie, breathe. All right, this bubble wrap. I just hope it's in good condition. I mean, every other time I've bought LPS from Japan, they have been in good condition. So I'm hoping that the good streak continues. But oh my god, you can see it. You can see it. You can see it. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Now let's examine before we take it out. They're in a Ziploc baggie. They look a little dirty, which is to be expected. Of course, they are used. But overall, like, I'm not seeing any broken tails. I'm not seeing any missing parts. Oh my god, there it is. Okay. I I'm not seeing anything wrong from like first glance. And of course, the pet that I've been like waiting for looks to be good. So, oh my god, okay. I'm gonna tip him out and then we're gonna get into it. The moment of truth.、Oh、okay, let's be real. Everybody move. We need to take a look at this beauty. This is it. This is the reason I bought this lot of pets. And what makes it even better is okay, she's in amazing condition. She looks authentic, like from my knowledge. She's a little dirty, but like the dirt is easy to clean up. So I'm not worried about that. Everything on her is fine. Her tail's still there. But the, the creme de la creme of this order was that it only cost me $9 for all these pets. Oh my god, nine dollars! Look at her, she is one of my favorite dachshunds ever made. There are two versions of this pet this one here that I'm holding, and this one here on screen. The only difference is the one that I'm holding is one solid color, the other one has like darker ears and paws, and、uh, they're both from the same blind bag pack. It's just different countries had different variants. Now, I will admit. The one with the dark ears and paws is my favorite, but I just wanted this pet in general, so I am just elated to have this. She's so gorgeous. Let me show you guys the other pets that came in this lot. So, included was this little dove, which I've actually never seen. This is my first time seeing this LPS, and I feel like that's so crazy to me. That's such a like. Kind of evidence of how many LPS there actually is because I've been collecting for majority of my life and I'm still seeing LPS that I've never seen all this time. You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy to me. But here it is. It's really pretty. I love the colors. It's not like super detailed, but it works. We have a little gerbil or hamster. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but I love this man. I love his hairdo. He is killing the game.、Um, And what's even more exciting, I forgot to mention, most of these pets in this lot I actually don't own, so that's a nice little bonus. This gorgeous chinchilla, one of my favorite chinchilla molds, and my first time having it, so super, super happy about that. Just gives me like coffee vibes, or maybe like a caramel ice cream. There's this Dalmatian, and I swear, every time I see a lot of LPS from Japan, they have this Dalmatian.
combination in it. I don't know if it was just a really popular set over there, but everybody in Japan sell them this pet. We have this King Charles Spaniel, and this is one of those LPS molds that I wish Hasbro did more of. So underappreciated, and they only made two different ones from my understanding. So yeah, I just, I just wish the King Charles Spaniel mold had more time to shine. There's this purple and yellow bee with see-through wings, which I love. The Pink Panther himself, except Psyche, it's actually a possum. I know, this would make an amazing Pink Panther custom. I've just gotten the idea. This cute little pink and white seal. This beautiful spider. I love this so much. I really want to get more spider LPS. I hardly have any and I really, I really, I'm really vibing with them lately. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if it's because it's getting near spooky season or what, but I just want to get more spiders. I think they're such cool, unique looking LPS and like the colors and designs are always so pretty. Like look at this LPS and tell me it is not cool. It's just cool, okay? There's no argument, okay? I'm not even gonna let you tell me, okay? It's just cool. We have a little inchworm. One of the best lizards Hasbro ever made. The colors are mwah, chef's kiss. This little hamster who's eating an apple and yes, the apple accessory is actually molded to the LBS so he is perma holding that apple. I ain't gonna lie to you, I don't know how to describe this color. It's kinda like indigo, I guess? Unless I'm thinking indigo's a different color. If so, damn. Uh, I don't know my colors. But I think this is indigo and it's a Scotty Dog. Probably not indigo, let's be honest. I don't know what I'm talking about. Please correct me in the comments. There's this poodle and from what I know, quite a few of these LPS are from the same set. If I can find a picture of the set, I'll put it on screen. But it's kind of cool to almost have like a full, complete collection of LPS just from one package. We have this parrot, love the bright colors. I don't see a lot of like bright pink LPS. This is almost like a hot pink, I guess. So it's always cool to see. There's this blue octopus who is gorgeous. Not a lot to say about her, honestly. She just works so well. I do really have this pet, but I will never stop admiring its beauty. Lastly, we have this tiger. My favorite thing about this LPS is that the fact that they painted the paws. They painted the little beans on his feet and it's just, it's gorgeous. Thank you, Hasbro. It's details like that that I love. Please bring them back. Please, Hasbro, please. Please bring back C2 LPS, please. <laughs> Any LPS, honestly. <laughs> Boom, there you have it. $9 worth of LPS. One of the best bargains I have ever gotten. And the fact that they are all in really good condition is amazing. So please, if you are looking for LPS and you don't mind using a proxy service, definitely check out Makari Japan for LPS. It is worth it. They don't come up super often, so you have to check back pretty regularly so you don't miss out on them when they do come up. But when they do, it is worth it, okay? I'd say maybe about four or five times a month, you'll get like some really good LPS listings on there. So like I said, it's not every single day, every single week, but when they do come up, you can get this many LPS with a dachshund for $9. I, I don't think you can beat that. And of course, we have the new inbox pets, which are one of my favorite things to get from Japan. And I bought both of these from Yahoo Japan Auction. Um, I also used Bai to obtain these. So everything I got here today was used through Bai. Um, and if anyone's curious, these cost me $13 each. So again, quite cheap. I mean, not as cheap as our little bundle back here, but the fact that they're new in their packaging, it, I, I think it was worth it, definitely. So that is everything I got for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, like always, I will leave some links in the description to Bai's website, as well as Makari Japan, because uh, I recommend using Makari Japan through Makari's actual website and then going through Bai. Um, if any of you are interested in using Bai, I've actually worked with them in the past and done videos explaining how to use their website. So I'll try and link to a video um, where I explain like how to use everything as well for any of you that are confused. Um, but that's everything. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching again. I will see you very soon with a new video. If you guys like this video, like always, please don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye guys!